Hi, and welcome to another video in our How to Use SimMan 3G series. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to control the SimMan with the laptop and the software. So here we have the SimMan 3G uh, instructor PC. We know it's the instructor PC thanks to this blue sticker in the left -hand, bottom left-hand corner. Turns on with a power button on that uh, button right there, bottom left-hand side of the screen. We'll bring you to this login. Uh, it says the username is simman3g. The password is the exact same. It's case sensitive. So just copy exactly what you see there and it will log in. So this brings us on to the desktop and what we have to start up is the Laradol instructor application. Although there are other icons for other programs, we're not going to worry about those. We're not going to worry about any messages for now. So we double click on the Laradol instructor application. You get this little lo loading screen. Now we have our connection screen. So this is going to connect us, connect this laptop to the mannequin. We have two options, virtual mannequin and SimMan 3G-B. So Virtual Mannequin is a software-based mannequin, which means it, if you start that, it is not connecting to the actual SimMan lying in the bed. It's just to uh, practice it, uh, the use of, of the software. So it's software only. SimMan 3G-B, that's the one that's currently um, lying on the bed in the ward area. So we're going to select that and click OK. Now it's going to start up here. It's a uh, we have to select either auto mode patient case, uh, instructor mode scenario, or previously save scenario. We always use the middle one, start instructor mode scenario. So we click on that. Now this screen we can select either healthy patient 3G or healthy patient classic, and um, accidentally clicked something with my finger. One thing to be aware of is this is a touch screen. So if you do touch something by accident, it could start something, don't be alarmed, it's a touch screen. Anyhow, back to where we are, we're going to select Healthy Patient 3G. That's our standard, and we click OK. And that will bring us to our main control interface for SimMan 3G. It loads up, takes a couple of seconds. And while that's loading up, uh, you will see over there, if you were close to the SimMan, you'll see that it stopped breathing. So now it's not running in its, in its sort of uh, basic user, uh, startup mode, it's waiting for input now from the software. So we go back to the software interface, and the main thing to focus on here is, is the middle. We see it says pause. So we know that it's not running. We're logged in, but it's not running yet. And it says we can press the space bar or the start button uh, in the lower left corner to resume session. So here's start session. Again, it's a touch screen, so if I touched it with my finger, it would work. So we can click that or push the space bar, and it starts up. Now, immediately after I did that, you can see the SimMan is running. He's breathing again, he's blinking again. And here we have the monitor area. We can see here that the SimMan is breathing. We can do the, all the adjustments for airway and breathing, circulation and fluids, for sounds. Now, one thing I do want to point out as a little tip. Um, if your students are having trouble hearing any of the chest sounds or bowel sounds because of the mechanics, because of the, any of the, uh, any, anything moving within the SimMan, there's this button here it's called Auscultation Focus. If you click that, it'll stop the air, it'll stop everything from moving for 30 seconds, and the only sounds will be the sounds out of those speakers playing the heart sounds, the lung sounds, the bowel sounds. So that will really give your students the opportunity to hear for sure if, if it's the sounds you're hoping for them to hear or if they were, were getting interference. So um, 
moving on from that, what, uh, what we really want to uh, focus on now is ending the session. So once you're finished, there's an end session button. You click that. You click quit. You say yes. And you're done. And then you can turn off the laptop when you're done for the day.